Well, the pandemic kept some of us from seeing our loved ones last Thanksgiving, but this year, infection numbers are down. Most of the population is fully vaccinated. So does that mean we can lower our guard a bit as we celebrate the holiday with family and friends? Some doctors say sort of. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo joins us live from Jackson Memorial Hospital to explain. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Elliot. Hi, Jim. Well, that's right. Medical experts tonight told me that we could enjoy these Thanksgiving dinners, but to keep in mind that COVID is still lingering. Millions of Americans are preparing to celebrate the big turkey day, and this year medical experts are not begging Americans to skip through Thanksgiving gatherings or to keep them small like they did last year. Instead, they're focusing on risk reduction. People shouldn't be paranoid and we, we should be able to celebrate the holidays with some degree of safety. You can, you can hug your family members, but preferably do it outdoors if they're not part of your bubble. The CDC said we should be focused on four risk reduction techniques, and that's not just celebrating outdoors, but getting your vaccines and boosters, testing to prevent COVID transmissions, and being extra vigilant with what household you walk into. So my guidance is really keeping in mind those four criteria. Based on those four criteria and how you rate, you can be more risky or less risky, right? So again, if everyone in your household is vaccinated, they do not have an immunocompromised individual in the family. Um, all children are vaccinated. You can take more of a risk because it's very unlikely that someone is going to get infected or unlikely someone will end up in the hospital. Now, if you are having a Thanksgiving gathering indoor, medical experts urge you to leave your windows open. Again, discuss vaccination status with guests and use disposable utensils and plates. Dr. Keita Nair says she does not recommend indoor celebrations. She says we have to keep in mind that there may be another winter surge. We are going to see cases go up December, January, what we're seeing in Europe, right? During the cold, the cold time folks are gathering indoors. They may or may not be vaccinated. They're eating and drinking and, and the virus is being spread. So this surge in Europe is not surprising and it will not be surprising if we see the same happen here in South Florida. So you've got to balance your risk and your benefit. And these medical experts tell me that a person who is vaccinated is six times less likely to be infected with COVID. I'm live in Miami, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News tonight.